she's going. Go ahead. Um, hello, thank you for having me here today. My name is Julie Vahey, and I'm a resident of Montgomery County and the executive director of the Montgomery County Republican Committee. I'm here to speak with you today regarding my experience as an observer of the pre-canvas and canvas of the mail-in ballots. In Montgomery County, we had over 250,000 mail-in ballots requested for the general election. In the weeks leading up to the election, I personally trained over 100 volunteers to inspect and monitor the counting of these ballots to ensure the legitimacy of the vote in Montgomery County. Unfortunately, they were never given this opportunity. On sun Sunday, November 1st, during a walkthrough of the mail-in ballot facility, we learned that no watchers were permitted to inspect or even see the outside envelope of the ballot. After some significant pushback by our chairman, Liz Havey, the county agreed to allow two watchers inside the room, of which I was one. As an observer at the canvas, I was corralled into a small, narrow holding area, which is blocked off by tables and plexiglass barriers in the corner of the room. Due to the room layout and location of the holding area within the room, I only had visibility to the space where ballots were flattened and scanned. This was a huge area and the closest scanner was roughly six feet away and the farthest approximately 25 yards away. From my position within the holding area, I had no visibility or access to the room where ballots were sorted, outside envelopes were inspected, and both outside and secrecy envelopes were open. The space was divided from the scanning room by a large white wall, blocking all visibility to the slicing machines, the blue crest sorter, and the ballot storage room. In my opinion, this was a totally separate room and not one room as the county election board argued. During our walkthrough of the campus facility on Sunday, November 1st, we argued that this was a separate room and was told by the county chief operating officer that we would be able to view this space by security camera footage. The footage from these cameras was streamed to televisions in a conference room on the other end of the building, um, which was approximately a four minute walk away from where the ballot canvas room was. The system was not set up on our walkthrough day, and it was not until I arrived back at the facility on 7 a.m. on election day that I could see the footage was extremely poor quality and you could only see pixelated images of workers moving around the room and had no meaningful visibility of the ballots. Over the last 10 months in my role, I have spoken to thousands of voters firsthand who have lost faith in the election processes and procedures in Montgomery County and across Pennsylvania as a whole. Today, I still lack the information needed to properly inform voters that their vote was in fact counted. I thank you for holding these hearings today and a hope that the appropriate legislative changes are made to restore confidence in our elections. Thank you. Thank you.